Hi everyone, my name is Jack Wang. Welcome to this week's College Planning Tip of the Week. As always with me is Nancy Steenson of Steenson College Coaching. Now in the last couple of weeks, we've talked about different types of applications, early action and early decision, and when they could be right for students. This week, Nancy, I hope you would talk about the third type, which is regular decision, and by sort of by extension, also something called rolling admissions. Can you clarify those for us? Jack, I'd be happy to. Um, yeah, in talking about early action and early decision, which we've already done, um, we're talking about students who are sort of ready to apply by the fall of their senior year. It's important to know that when applying early action or early decision, colleges will not see senior year grades. Most of them will not want to look at them. So you have to be ready to rock and roll by the end of your junior year. Your, you know, your, your grades, your test scores, whatever, the whole package. Some students are not. It's not uncommon for me to work with a student whose grades are trending upward. Sometimes that uh, parallels their maturity process. Sometimes I work with students who say, um, this, I really want to submit a test score. Um, I've done this well, and I know after the work I've put in that I'm going to bump that score up. So some students are not ready to apply in October or, or November of their junior year, excuse me, of their senior year. They're not ready for colleges to look at their whole package uh, as it looks like in June of their, of their junior year, which is really what a college looks at. So regular decision is a wonderful opportunity for students to take a whole fall of their senior year to improve their grades, to show college readiness, to improve test scores, to do something outside the classroom. So it's a wonderful opportunity for students to be able to put together for lack of a better word, a better package. Now that's one reason to apply regular decision. The other reason to apply regular decision is just to give students more time. Not everyone has thought about where they want to apply to college for the past year. Some students start their senior year and hear their school counselor start talking about college and have a meeting with their counselor and suddenly go, oh my gosh, I have to put together a list of colleges. Oh my gosh, I've got to start researching colleges. That's okay. So regular decision is right for that student. Give yourself a little bit of time. With regular decision, most applications are not due until January 1st, sometimes January 15th, sometimes February 1st. So it just buys you more time if you weren't planning, if you're not way ahead of the game. That's all right. Regular decision is what was there all, was always there. It's sort of the old fashioned system. It's what, it's been there forever, right? Now to compare that real briefly with rolling admissions, and I'm glad you brought that up because some people can find that confusing. Most colleges have regular decision. Some colleges have rolling admissions. You won't see them cross over. The colleges who have rolling admissions are saying, you can apply now, you can apply later, there's not a strict deadline. And within a few weeks or months, depending on the college, from the time we receive your application, we'll make a decision and notify you. So as the applications are coming in, colleges are making decisions and sending out notifications. That's rolling admissions. Very different from regular decision or even early action or early decision for that matter, where a college waits for the deadline, gets all of the applications and makes decisions in the context of all the other applications. So to be clear, you can't decide whether or not you wanna apply early, excuse me, whether or not you wanna apply regular decision or rolling admissions to any individual college. They'll let you know which program they offer. But regular decision is a wonderful um, opportunity for students to have choices. Every college out there offers either regular decision 
or rolling admissions, even if they offer early action or early decision, they'll still have a wave of regular decision or rolling. So for students who don't have their ducks in the row, who are not ready to apply until early in the new year, let's say January, um, regular decision is a wonderful choice. It will give them choices and it will give them financial aid packages and merit packages to choose from. Most of these colleges are going to be notifying students in the early spring and those students can make a decision at that point and not feel like they were, they were rushed. So regular decision has its place in the admissions process for sure. Um, it, it, it's in, in some ways, it, it's my favorite wave because it's a little less stressful for students. And um, I encourage all students to think about the different things we've talked about, early decision, early action, regular decision, rolling, and just do what's right for them because there is no one right way. There are different options and the, each option has pros and cons and students should think about what those pros and cons are and get the right mix for their situation and their future. That's great information, Nancy, because I know so many families who, who's the, the children just don't, you know, the students just don't know what they want to do, right? And, and you're right, there is a lot of stress. They don't necessarily know what they want to major in. They're not quite sure what they want, where they want to go. Regular decision can be a great option. Absolutely. Thanks, Nancy. Thanks for that great information. And thank you all for watching this week's College Planning Tip of the Week. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time.